Hey guys, today I'll be teaching you the U perms. Alright, so there's two different U perms, UA and UB. So I'll show you UA real quick. So this is UA. UA is when all the pieces need to rotate, all the edges. So the red edge needs to go here, orange edge needs to go here, and green edge needs to go here. So when it's moving in a clockwise direction, that's UA, and in a counterclockwise is UB. So let's do UA first to start. So UA, if you do your um, end slices with your right hand, like me, then this is the algorithm and I'll put it down below. Alright, so it's... Hey Steph! <laughs> um, so it's M2. Again, these are exactly the same moves. I think there's only one move that's different So from the H and Z perm. So it's M2 um, U prime. And this is the move that's different. Instead of um, moving the M, instead of doing an M prime now, or an M2, like we're used to, this time you have to do uh, just a normal M, like that. So it's M2, U prime, and then a normal M, and how you do that is you just push one of your, uh, your ring or middle finger, whichever one is stronger, you just push it here like this like that so I'll show you that one more time like that so that's a tricky part but um, once you if you practice it enough you'll get the hang of it so M2 U prime M and then hold on a sec and then U2, M prime, U prime, M2. So again, I'll just set it up here. So M2, U prime, M, U2, M prime, U prime, M2. So that's the algorithm. Um, if you do your M slices with your left hand, just do the exact same thing, except everything's opposite. And what you'll be doing is the U, prime, U perm B algorithm. So I just showed you the U prime A algorithm. Um, I'll try to perform it with my left hand real quick. All right, so this is what you guys would do. That's what you'll do, so just with your left hand. Uh, all right, so now on to U B. Or, again, if you do the M slices with your left hand, then you'll be doing UA. So it's the exact same algorithm, except you do the U primes. I mean, yeah, you do the U's in the other way. So if you're doing U primes just then, then you do normal U's. And if you're doing U2s, then just keep on doing u two. So it's the exact same algorithm. Again, I'll put the algorithm down below. So this time it's... And again, when it's this is going in a counterclockwise direction, the edges need to switch like this, then it's UB. So how I do my normal use, I don't do M2 U like this, because it's kind of hard to switch from these two fingers and then up to here like that. What I do is I get this my um, left finger and I do this, so M2, U, like this, so I'm kind of just pushing it. Just try to just, just hold it like this and just push, um, push the top layer with your, um, opposite pointer finger. So again, if you're doing M slices with your left hand, you would push it like this. This is also a good move if you're doing one-handed solves because 
it's that's the only way you'll be able to do um, use or um, U primes if you do one handed solves with your right hand. M prime, again pushing with your pointer finger, U, M2. So now I'll show you how to recognize it and how you can know which U prime you need to perform. So, of course, I just, uh, with the pushing, movement. I was doing a UB for that, but if you're doing it the opposite way, then it's a UA. So if you're doing if you're doing normal U's, then it's a UB um, algorithm, and if you're doing um, U primes, then it's a UA. So how to recognize it is wherever um, you are on the cube, if you see um, a full like three of the same pieces just um, spin the top layer until that's on the back on the very back and then you look at what edge is facing towards you and you look on either side at the corners and since this is orange and the orange corners are here then you want to rotate away from these orange ones so that means I'll if I'm rotating away, then it'll be U moves. So then I know that I'm doing the U8, no, UBs. So confusing, so I know to do this algorithm. And then just get it back to normal. And, whoops. So we'll, we'll try that again. So just look for, just look for um, the full bar. Put that at the back. You can rotate the whole cube to put this at the back or else you can just spin um, the top layer. And also note that if if the if these three are on are completing the whole face, then after you do the algorithm you won't have to do any extra U moves at the end. So if if it's like um, if there's a bar here then instead of rotating it so that this is at the back, I recommend that you just do a U so then this whole face is complete. So so I see that blue, the blue edge is here and the two blue corners are here. So I'll, I'll have to do U primes to move the blue away from the two corners like that. So yeah, those are both of the U perms. Again, everything that I was doing in this video, if you do the M slices with your left hand, then you're doing the algorithms exactly opposite. So, yeah, um, that's the U perm. I hope it helped, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.